There can't be no light If darkness don't exist He never left my Easter everybody we are having such an amazing Easter weekend I told the kids we have a church marathon going on so on Friday we went to church for a good Friday on Saturday we went to church as well for Easter at potential church and something really amazing and unexpected happened yesterday but we're gonna tell you about that in the end of the video and then on Sunday which is Easter Sunday today we got invited to First Baptist Church in Fort Lauderdale which is actually the oldest church in Broward County and it just reopened the big auditorium and we got invited by our friend Pastor David Hughes. He pastors at a church called Church by the Glades, a mega church out there, and he came out here to Fort Lauderdale to restart First Baptist Church and it was amazing. We also had an incredible time at Potential Church this weekend. It was just mind-blowing, the worship, the message, everything. Easter is probably my favorite holiday. Is it your favorite holiday? Was it? Was it? It is now. It is now. I mean, it's so hard because Christmas is good, but Easter, let's just say Easter is such an important day for all Christians out there. It's such an amazing day to remember the resurrection and how Jesus' resurrection power lives in all of us. Such a powerful message. So we are on our way back home to do some Easter egg hunting and some fun stuff with the family. And keep watching this video because we're going to tell you the very special thing that happened very unexpected yesterday at church, at Potential Church. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. It's so unnecessary. Okay, so we just got back from church and the Easter Bunny didn't show. But Jesus Christ showed up with the baskets. They're here. They're here. He left the building. <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna give them their presents. Are you guys ready? Yeah. All right, are you guys ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. yeah. Ready? Okay, let's go. Let's... Whoa! Jesus got them lots of stuff for the beach and the pool. Look, that's so cool. Just like I am. Let's see what anesthesia got. Let's see. Over the pool. What is that? Hi. Oh, 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 so cute. Oh, my God. And we got some bums and roses, pajamas. Yeah. And then we got some plush peanut outfits. Whoa, look at these mommy. Look how big they are. Ooh. Oh, these are so cool. These are reusable water balloons. Shanti, could you play a song for us? The reusable water balloons? Yeah. I Check love them. Out. They're, they're better ones though. Look at these. Oh yeah, those are better ones. You can just ones. fill them up with the, the pool water. So I want to go back in up. the pool again and use my goggles. It's so great, so it won't pollute the environment with the one time plastic use. Yep. And we don't have the beach, there. so we definitely there forever. Yeah, yeah, I made a rule in the house, here. no uh, balloons, because they just pollute the environment. You've Mermaid. used them once. So, so we're not doing the balloon thing ever again. So, no balloons. Yeah, so we got the reusable the ones. Reusable ones, you could use them over and over and don't have to kind of ruin the environment. And that is exciting. Yeah, Too much plastic yeah. in the oceans. So we're going to keep our oceans clean and free from plastic. Every day people are picking up plastic out there. It's great. The city does it. People do it on their own. We do it. And uh, we don't want to add to that. So Ariella is practicing for her Easter egg hunting extravaganza. Okay, ready? Oh, there she goes. There she goes. Oh, she's ready. Your Easter basket. What's inside there? You you got a form of a brush. And what? You like it? Yeah. Mommy, what and look, 
Look, she's got little panties. Are you learning potty? This is we're learning potty, and it's so cute. Look, you got scrunchies for your hair? Yeah. Yes, and look at this. Look at this, for the beach. <gasps> for the beach! Wow, wow you love pajamas! A swimming suit? Look. Wow! Here. Are you gonna look beautiful? These on the beach. And look, balloons. Okay. You can try. Yay! Are you ready to put eggies in here? Eggies in here? Yeah. You wanna do that? Yeah. You wanna go find them outside? Yeah. Yay! All right, let's do it. Come on. Let's do it. Let's, let's do, do it. The Easter Bunny is here right now. The Easter Bunny is gonna drop the eggs outside. So the hardest eggs that we hid, I think there's three spots. And this thing under, you can open this to it. It's like a bike, but you can put it in a scooter. So there's one inside of here and one on top. I put one here too, and this bait and tackle thing they use for fishing. I put one next to the bunny. She's still alive. Say hi, bunny. And then I hid one in this net that they also use for fishing. The eggs are ready to go. The Easter bunny laid her eggs. Okay. That bunny right there laid several hundred Easter eggs. It was pregnant, it was waiting, and boom, today was the day, and it magically happened. There was no C-section, no <laughs> epidural, nothing like that. The bunny just laid the eggs, magically. Yeah, it was perfect. On Easter. Here she is, the star of the show. Let's, put her, let's, let's show the kids while they're finding the eggs. I think it was her. <laughs> yeah. Here, let her hop around by the egg. Ready to go get the girls? Yes, yeah. let's yeah. go. Okay. Leave her there, leave her there. It's time to go! Yeah! a shark, like a baby shark, like this big. Caught some sergeant majors, and we had like these brown, like baby trigger fish. These fish are. This one has like. Wow, it's fast. All right, guys, we're super excited. We used to catch these big snakeheads, tarpon, snook, all kinds of crazy stuff, 10 pound bass. One day we caught a 14 pound bass. Now we're catching these little bitty fish. Look at them down here. And we're so excited <laughs> about the little fish. Look at this. That's pretty weird looking. Why are we so excited about these little fish? Because we're putting them in our fish tank and watching them grow. We have a sergeant major that grew about four times the size we put him I in there with. He's only this hand. big, but he grew that big in like four or five weeks. weeks. Yeah. Yeah. So very like exciting. Look, we also have a new red dot fish. You see that right there? Mm -hmm. So fun. Mm -hmm. You're so cool, thing. With his hand. And nah. look at this, look at this thing we just caught, like that little it's curl. Little black thing. fish right there in a couple of minutes. Wow. Look, look at look at this that I caught. It's oh, it's really cool. Wow. 
Resurrection and it is Resurrection Sunday! Yay! How are Yay! You? Hallelujah! He is risen, right? Alright, in the beginning of this video, we told you that something so incredible happened on Easter Saturday, and we're gonna tell you what it right, is and right it, now. It caught me off guard because we just got back from Calvin's basketball tournament. I was in this basketball shirt. Uh, it just happens to be Calvin's number 69, I mean. And here we go, and I found out something really special was gonna happen. I had shorts on, it was Easter, but we wanted to go to all three services for three different pastor friends of mine and everything like that. And then these guys caught me off guard. We gotta go to church on Saturday. That would be the Easter Sunday service. Mm -hmm. Something very special happened. We're gonna tell you what happened. Calvin, go ahead. We got baptized. Pastor Brad is gonna go ahead and say a couple of words to Chantel and Calvin. So, so these two, I'm super proud of these two. So they were, they wanted to get baptized, but it was like, oh, I don't know if I wanna do it in public. Is there any way we can do it? Like just me and you and like maybe mom and dad. Like, it's, explain the purpose and what's, they understood the purpose of public declaration of their faith in Jesus. They wanted to step out and get into the baptism water. So, put on their God jersey. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Do you need to hold your nose? Yeah. Okay, Alvin? No. Shanti? Yeah. Based on your profession of faith in Jesus Christ, I baptize you, my sister and my brother, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yeah! proud of you Shanti because you were the leader in this situation I saw your face and I was like wow she is in her mind she is the CEO and she's making a decision right now because your pastor talked to you about it but of course it has to be your choice so what were you thinking in that moment on Friday my pastor said about baptizing and I said that I want to do it with no one watching and I said that's not how you're supposed to do it and then he told me more about it on Saturday and then when my friends were getting baptized, he, when I was gonna leave, he said, do you wanna do it? And I said, yes. So they gave me clothes, and when I was gonna go in the bathroom to change, I saw Calvin, and he was gonna get baptized too. Right. So that's great. But what uh, Shanti learned, she just said, um, look, I just wanna do it with a pastor, maybe mommy and daddy, by myself. But the reason we didn't do that, do you remember? Baptism is a what, public? public display, <laughs> oh. you're telling the world, hey, I've been saved, um, I believe in Jesus, Jesus is my Lord and Savior, and baptism is an outward expression to all the people around you that you've made that commitment, and there was a bunch of people out in front no, of potential church. Of there, there was like 18 people. No, there was about 45 18. people, we have that video. <laughs> We're gonna watch the video and you're gonna see it. <laughs> but it's a public display to say, hey, I'm dying to my old ways. I was born again. It's not like you're born again like a baby coming out of your mother, but you are born again because you're dying to your old ways and you're living for God instead of yourself. And you're just telling everybody baptism is that public display. Display, right? Cut. <laughs> so proud of you, Shanti.